Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about my top 10 most important things that I think you need when moving or traveling out to the Philippines. Stick around. Alright, uh, this is a list that I comprised of over the years, you know, just things I've trial and error of things that I've realize that are very handy when you live or uh, travel out to the Philippines. So um, some of the items I have with me, some of them I, I didn't bring out of the house, is too much of a pain, but uh, I'm going to go through that list right now with you here. So the first thing, if you're going to bring some electronics, um, I like to bring a currency converter or a uh, prong adapter that will allow you to um, change the uh, adapter on your on your electrical outlet uh, to plug into the electrical outlet sometimes you'll find that only uh, there's just a th you'll have a three prong but there's only a two prong in the hotel so you'll need a uh, adapter for that um, I do it I do have all of these items that I'm going to go through on my geo travel essentials list so uh, you can check that out there's a, a link in the description in the pin comment as well next thing is something new that I got um, and it you know in, in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia South America the temperature is quite hot and uh, I've discovered a few things to help uh, one is this new thing uh, that I just found out it's called a cooling hat and uh, they come in all kinds of different colors I ordered three of them but basically you take this hat you get it wet wring it out shake it and it uh, creates a cooling uh, effect in the uh, fiber and it will keep your head cool for several hours and it's been an absolute blessing um, and the other thing is a uh, cooling towel that uh, Maya and I actually took with us when we went to uh, Bangkok Thailand when we were at the Safari World all day long uh, we had this cooling towel it comes with a little Ziploc bag and a, a connector so you can connect it to your backpack. Basically it's uh, like this, same, same thing as the hat, same principle that you get it wet, wring it out to activate it and once it's activated it uh, becomes a cooling towel. A lot of you guys may have heard of these already. Um, it works fantastic. We kept using it throughout uh, our travel in Thailand and it was fantastic. It was a lifesaver. Um, I think they come in a pack of four, you can order even more. So I even use those when I go to the gym now, they're, they're great. Next thing I recommend is, you know, I mean, the Philippines is an island nation. And uh, it's not uh, always what people think where it's just white, sandy, smooth beaches. A lot of the beaches here are rocky. Um, you could ste step on some waste. I mean, it could be a broken bottle, you never know. It could be a, a sea urchin. Um, and I recommend a good pair of water shoes uh, that you bring out with you. Now, I've bought water shoes in the Philippines and they just haven't lasted. Um, they've lasted maybe three times and the sole's already falling apart and uh, they're just kind of flimsy. So I got a good pair and uh, these have been a lifesaver. And then the other thing uh, for waterfalls or beaches or whatever, and the other thing is a water bag. Um, the water bag is excellent to bring because if you're at the beach or a waterfall or you take a, a snorkeling excursion, you know, you can put all your stuff in there and uh, it'll keep it dry. And if, if it's just you at the beach, you're by yourself, you're solo, and you want to go jump in the water, well, you can throw your stuff in there, roll it up tight, clip it, and uh, take it out swimming with you to strap, strap it around you. Um, not it's not the ideal thing you want to do when you're swimming but it certainly is more secure than leaving your wallet in your shoe right so uh, works fantastic as well um, another thing I've mentioned this before in another video but I'll I'll mention it again is this front pocket wallet um, very small you can put it in your front pocket it's got a money a little money clip in there and uh, if you see on here, it's got a, a little button. Push it, and your cards come out, and they don't fall out. And then you uh, push them back in to lock it. 
and uh, it's been fantastic. I've, I've used this now a couple years. Um, I don't think they have this this exact model anymore, but the, there's one that's just about exactly like it. It's, again, all this stuff that I'm talking about is in my Geo Travel Essentials, and uh, it works fantastic, really good. Another thing, uh, this is not in my Geo Essentials list, but bring your favorite uh, over-the-counter medicines. Um, unfortunately, when you travel or you live in the Philippines, uh, diarrhea is going to hit you. <laughs> it's just inevitable. It's going to hit you and, you know, having over-the-counter medicines, like if you get a headache, Tylenol or Imodium or your favorite eye drops, because it's quite dusty here even, um, just a variety of different things that you may use over-the-counter. Um, I'm not talking uh, behind-the-counter prescriptions, but th those obviously you should bring with you if you're on a prescription. But over-the-counter medications are fantastic. Bring them with you. Um, shouldn't have any problem at all as long as uh, they can see they're over-the-counter. Put them in your uh, carry-on or uh, your checked luggage. Now, um, probably one of the most important things and maybe the most expensive on the list is a security bag. I like PackSafe. Um, depending what you're going to carry in it um, the backpack is probably ideal every compartment every zipper everything locks um, they sell the individual locks that you can use to lock every uh, compartment as well they're slash proof um, if your hotel doesn't have a safe you could put all your your money your passport lock it to the bed uh, frame uh, lock it to uh, you know the in the closet the pole just a, a variety of different things. Maybe you're on a bus and you want to sleep and you could lock it to your seat or just uh, lock it around you. And nobody's, nobody can zip it, unzip it while you're sleeping. Nobody can slash through it. So at least not while you're, um, without waking you up for sure because they would really have to have the proper tools to get through this wire mesh type material. Um, there's a few of them that I recommend there in my travel essentials. We always travel with this. It is fantastic uh, absolutely love it absolutely love it um, again it is a bit pricey but it will last you for a long long time okay now the other thing is moisture wicking clothes I mean I have moisture wicking shirts shorts pants underwear socks everything quick dry type uh, you know moisture wicking type material it makes things a lot more comfortable, especially a lot of guys who come out here are going to be coming from the colder weather type climates. And uh, this stuff is fantastic. And the good thing too is if you don't want to get burned, if you don't want to get burned, you could uh, just wear this when you're swimming or if the waterfall is a little cool, you could just keep the shirt on and you know, you uh, pop on your motorbike to drive home or you uh, go out in the sun for 20 minutes and this is already dry. So it's fantastic. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I highly recommend moisture wicking clothes all the way from the hat all the way down. And uh, then the last but not least uh, would be, um, I like the Amazon Fire Stick. Now there's a variety of different ones you can use, but you can bring it with you. Um, as long as you have internet connection, plug it into the uh, USB port on the back of the TV, connect to the Wi-Fi, and you've got all your shows available because some of the TV programming out here might drive you a little batty, might, might make you a little bit crazy. It's not exactly ideal for a lot of people. And maybe you don't want to miss certain shows or you want to watch you know, American shows or shows from England. Now, with that, you are going to have to get a VPN to, to trick it to think you're in the USA, England, Australia, Canada, wherever you want to log into. I recommend Surfshark VPN. I believe you get three months free. There is a link also in the description. So those kind of both go hand in hand. Now, is this the ultimate list? Are there more things that you could add to this? Absolutely. Please feel free to comment down below. Um, my Geo Essentials travel list has much more. A lot of my favorite things that I like to have with me while I'm traveling or if you're moving out here by clicking that link in the description or the pinned comment. And um, also, if if I had to separate and say, okay, uh, moving list for moving here or a list for just traveling, the list might change a little bit for each of those. So I kind of combine the two, the best of both, and uh, put that together to make this video. So guys, I hope you 
like this video. I do not um, work for any of these companies. Um, so I, is, these are just some of my favorite things that I personally use. And uh, hopefully they will help you in your travels as well. Thank you guys so much. Check out my Patreon account, Geo in the Philippines. There's a link in the description as well, where I've got more than 80 plus additional videos and uh, much more benefits as well. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.